Greetings folks, on your right is the new Asus TUF 506. This features the Ryzen 4800H, but this is a teardown tutorial with new thermal interface material and it is that video only, don't worry. In the description below will be the in-depth review of this wonderful little chassis. Now, the reason for this is that a tutorial may not serve too many people now as this is a new laptop, but six or 12 months down the road, a lot of folks are gonna find their thermal interface materials all but dried up and it's time for a new application. This video will serve those. Now on your left is my iFixit ProTech Toolkit. I cannot recommend tearing down laptops without one of these. Links in the description below for this. If you can afford a $1,200 laptop, please do not attempt to take it apart with a screwdriver that is a little too small, a little too big, and a butter knife. Do what the pros do, spend 50 or 60 bucks. This can do a lot more than just take apart laptops, but after all, it is your stripped screws and your cash. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Enjoy this tutorial and teardown of the Asus TUF 506. First thing we have to do is remove all of the Phillips head screws on the bottom of your TUF 506. You've got about two or three different lengths here, so make sure you do not misplace this. For me personally, I tend to set the screw right outside the screw hole. Using one of the pry tools from my iFixit ProTech Toolkit, link in the description below, please do not try to do a teardown like this without one of these in your arsenal. We're going to run this pry tool along the seam in the front and the sides of the TUF 506, and this will allow us to remove the bottom panel from the chassis. Oh goody, have to love those tamper evident stickers. Regardless, next step we need to do is unplug the battery. The next step is much easier. We have eight screws that hold down the heat sink itself. Now I initially unscrewed both fans and unplugged them, but I realized in this process you will not need to do this, so we ended up skipping this section. I repeat, you do not need to unplug or remove your fans during the disassembly for a repaste on your TUF 506. Next, I'm going to use a plastic pry tool and carefully lift up on the cooler. I want to be very careful not to bend it, especially on this cooler as the copper is very, very thin. And I also do not want to damage any of the components on the PCB itself. So choose wisely here, just be very careful and very patient. Welcome to my teardown nightmare. I was hoping to see thermal pads instead of thermal paste. Thermal paste does just as good of a job on top of the memory modules and chokes and all those components, but it's very messy. And as somebody who would prefer to repaste their machine usually twice a year, that is excessive, but understand where you are right now here at Bob of All Trades. I would personally prefer to use a very thin thermal pad, maybe a 0.5 Fuji Poly, something like that. If I were to keep this machine, that's what I would do but I do not have the thermal pads for this right now. I have no intention on keeping this machine either. So let's begin the cleanup using isopropyl alcohol, Q-tips, paper towels, microfiber cloths, coffee filters, you name it. I'm going to carefully remove all of the thermal interface material on the CPU and the GPU. And then when it comes to all of the memory modules and VRMs and chokes and things like that, I'm just gonna get enough of it up before I reapplied the new thermal interface material. Now here I'm just going to mimic a 
similar viscosity of paste that was used on the CPU and GPU versus the uh, memory modules and things like that. So I'm going to use a Phobia Nano Grease on the CPU and GPU and then use something a little bit softer such as Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut on all of the other components. Now you do not have to do it this way and if it were me keeping this machine I would use a 0.5 millimeter Fuji Poly Thermal Pad on everything but the CPU and GPU and then probably use Cryonaut on the CPU and GPU. But regardless, this is what I've got. I need to get this done quickly. This is going to work out just fine. So this is what I did. That's it, folks. It is that simple. That was the teardown and repaste of the Asus Tough 506. The next video in line is the in-depth review of this chassis. If you like this, please like it, subscribe for more in-depth content on this chassis and more laptops to come. I am Bob of all trades. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.